Road to GH reveals how Christina never imagined her life could change so drastically. After a series of family tragedies, she decides to start a new chapter by accepting her father Sonny's offer to work at Corinthos Coffee. Although hesitant at first, she believes this is a chance to rediscover purpose and escape the shadows of her past. Corinthos Coffee, according to Sonny, is a legitimate coffee importing business, with no ties to the illegal activities the family was once involved in. However, the truth is rarely as simple as it seems. In her first few weeks on the job, Christina works hard to prove her capabilities. What she doesn't realize, however, is that behind this seemingly harmless work lies a web of illegal operations. Despite Sonny's claim that he had severed the company from his criminal empire, underground forces have been exploiting Corinthos Coffee as a front for money laundering and smuggling. One day, while Christina is inspecting operations at one of the company's largest warehouses, the police suddenly raid the facility. They conduct a search and uncover incriminating evidence, including untraceable cash and forged documents. All signs point to Christina as the one directly overseeing and responsible for these activities. Handcuffed and escorted away, Christina is left in shock, as is the entire Corinthos family. The promising young employee now faces serious charges, including money laundering and smuggling. When news reaches the Corinthos family, Sonny and Alexis Davis are utterly devastated. Sonny, who has always tried to shield his children from the criminal world, feels as though all his efforts have been in vain. He wrestles with guilt and anger, questioning how things could have spiraled out of control. Meanwhile, Alexis is unable to hide her fury. She had repeatedly warned Christina about the risks of working for Sonny, but her daughter wouldn't listen. Alexis confronts Sonny, blaming him for dragging Christina into this mess. Their heated argument only adds to the tension within the family, though their priority remains finding a way to save Christina from legal ruin. As Christina sits behind bars, she begins piecing events together. What initially seemed like coincidences now form a clearer picture, she has been framed. One name surfaces in her mind, Ava. For a long time, Ava has harbored resentment toward Christina, especially after the lawsuit involving the death of the child Christina had carried as a surrogate for Molly. Ava, blaming Christina for her misfortunes, plotted revenge. She covertly orchestrated the setup, using her connections in the criminal underworld to plant illegal shipments and fake evidence. Her goal was not only to have Christina arrested but also to tarnish the reputation of the Corinthos family. Christina's time in jail becomes the most challenging period of her life. However, instead of succumbing to despair, she resolves to fight back. She collaborates with the family's lawyer and, with help from Dante Falconeri, begins gathering evidence to prove her innocence. The investigation gradually uncovers vital clues. Some former associates of Ava come forward, providing information about the shady dealings she orchestrated. Meanwhile, Sonny refuses to stand idly by. He confronts Ava directly. Their encounter is intense, with Ava steadfastly denying her involvement. But Sonny isn't easily fooled. With the help of his allies, he starts unraveling Ava's schemes and applying pressure to force her hand. Despite her cunning, Ava cannot hide forever. The evidence against her piles up, and she is ultimately forced to admit her role in framing Christina. The legal battle continues, but with her family's unwavering support, Christina begins to restore her reputation. The ordeal serves as a painful lesson for her and a wake-up call for Sonny. He realizes that no matter his intentions, involving his children in any aspect of his empire carries inherent risks. As for Christina, she decides to completely distance herself from Sonny's world and pursue a new path to rebuild her life.